Hi, Jacob Kalusner here and welcome to Instant Threat Modeling, a series of five mini videos on threat modeling made instantly here on the whiteboard. Today's topic is AWS Cloud Infrastructure. More and more companies are moving their infrastructure to the cloud and AWS is one of their first choices. So let's model the threats of a typical application hosted in an AWS infrastructure. We still have the users, developers and administrators on the ground. Behind the blue dotted line is the AWS cloud. And we can go old style through CloudFront to the EC2 instances, the virtual machines or fully serverless via API gateway through Lambdas and S3 buckets to DynamoDB. Developers and administrators, they can reconfigure the EC2 instances and also they have access to the management console where they can change the roles in the IAM service, they can configure the backups in the Elastic Block service and they can configure the VPC networks. What can go wrong? Malformed requests can cause a denial of service, but in cloud environments it's also a denial of wallet. That's because of per usage billing. One of the ways to exploit it is direct access to the API gateway. Then we have data leaks in the S3. Imagine a situation when an employee makes unintentionally an S3 object public. None of the policies with explicit deny work. EC2 instances are virtual machines. They're running on some operating systems and they're running the applications. All of the components in the stack can be vulnerable. As with any server on the internet, the EC2 instance can expose excessive services. Think Tomcat Manager with default password. With so many AWS components and environments, we've got problems with trusts and authorization across those. The developers and administrators, they hold the keys to programmatic access to all of these management consoles. They can leak. The administrators configure roles and access for the developers and users. This can be misconfigured or simply bypassed. So we've got unauthorized access to management consoles. There is a cool AWS feature to allow to record any traffic that is going to the AWS application that is called VPC traffic mirroring and it can be exploited with a hijacked employee account. And the easiest way to hijack an employee account is to guess their password or simply fish them. Instant mitigations. Use the block public access feature on S3. Block direct access to API gateways with the web application firewall, CloudFront, and also use IP filtering to allow only ingress traffic to the API gateway from CloudFront. Web application firewalls offer some protection against denial of service, but the key is to use usage plans and throttling for the API to mitigate denial of wallet. All new applications and systems require a penetration test and a code review. Run an attack surface review session to detect excessive services. To avoid key leakage, use vaults and add some monitoring. Role-based access control and granular permissions will help the cross-project, cross-environment and cross-component access control issues. Least privilege principle again for unauthorized access to management consoles. Use SCP to remove the VPC traffic mirroring for all roles. And the best advice for phishing is two-factor authentication. We may need a separate episode for that. This was Instant Threat Modeling of AWS Cloud Infrastructure. Please let me know if you need help with reviewing yours. Otherwise, all previous episodes at securing.b slash ITM. Cheers.